gue pas denger buatan dokumenter ini kayak satu topik about stereotype cowok itu punya pekerjaan tetap itu gila sih terutama karena true itu yang gue rasain pas gue pas di Indonesia lalu itu kalau cowok yang cool yang keren itu langsung jadi pengusaha lah lalu kerja di suatu perusahaan besar yang itu di mana waktu gue datang itu gue stres banget pas gue didatang ditanya lu kerja apa I can't answer that because people will question gue mencoba menjelaskan tapi people won't understand kayak um, saya seniman seniman itu ngapain ya lu kalau mau kerja jangan sesuatu yang hanya lu dapat capeknya dapat uangnya aja sesuatu yang bermanfaat untuk ke depan which kalau lu mau kerja sesuatu yang related with your um, subject jadi salah satunya gua harus kerja itu kerja di dunia art logistik di packing um, delivery the time he already start as an artist but he do he wouldn't think that oh I'm an artist I'm not going to do this kind of thing but he he grab all kind of possible all the opportunity he can to really to learn something of course like you know just like I thought just like it's related with art but the first time I was like okay why not but because the first time when I knew you I thought like you are the one of the employee of the artist in mind You were like the one who just like rolling the truck and then just bringing the whole things and then eating with the crew on the on the on the street together. And then I knew later on you are also um, one of the owner of the art porter gallery that I didn't know. So that's why like when I time like I was wow, this is cool. It's like responsibility itself, like you know, like you carrying. I mean, like it's different when you carrying heavy table. But here is artwork that has value. Ketika gua pergi ke rumah kolektor, gua jadi semakin kagum. Kerjaan ini malah ngasih gua lebih dari sekedar pengalaman dan uang. Dan ini lebih nguatin passion dan visi gua di masa depan. Gua jadi lihat oh gini cara kerjanya. Gue terinspirasi sebenarnya dari tempat gue tinggal di Sing waktu itu di Singapura. Di situ gue membahas tentang sebuah tema-tema yang dasar, tema-tema yang remeh, mungkin remeh-temeh tapi important. Gue ngelihat keadaan Singapura yang dimana orang itu very tense, very serious. Gue ngerasa orang ini stres banget berangkat kerja pagi, pulang malam, tidur. Okay, there's something missing, and I found it like a humor. di mana ada humor, di mana ketawa kan. Tapi nggak semua ketawa itu dari humor. Kadang-kadang orang ketawa bukan hanya lucu tapi mempertawakan diri sendiri, mempertawakan orang lain, mempertawakan keadaan sekitar. Kadang-kadang kita ketawa karena kita licik, ketawa jahat. Banyak part-part elemen ketawa yang menarik gitu loh. Di situ muncullah ha-ha series. Jadi it's about reflection of human manifestation yang merefleks keadaan sosial dimanapun. Gak hanya di Indonesia, gak di Singapura, di around the world. More universal. Pekerjaan itu, terutama cowok itu gak harus namanya pekerjaan kantoran atau apa. As long you are follow your passion, I think that's, that's the key gitu loh. Gue stress kalau gue gak berkarya. Tapi gue juga gue ngerasa without my family, gak yang support gue, gak ada yang backup gue. I, me, I can be like who I am now. Gue seperti ini karena mereka juga. You can follow your your passion. For me, family is very important and then because they always support me. Being yourself, it's not about being selfish. For me, it's being you is about absorbing a lot of advices. When you receive advice, you can see other things, other perspective, and then you make your own trademark, you make your own decisions. To 
find your magic, it's a lifetime process. So never stop finding yourself.